Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Dirk here. Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> so, how's everybody going? Or doing? Going? Uh, my brain's a little bit mushy. Sorry. Uh, it's starting to get late already. Um, yeah. I just wanted to show you guys. Huh? That's what this hole It's not completely finished, but uh, there's my little high voltage power supply. Uh, some things will get changed. These will get changed. Uh, I do want some ceramic, little ceramic standoffs if I can get some, or I might even make my own. We'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> these are kind of, they're connected on there, but not good enough, so that needs to get changed. Um, you got the other side. Uh, if I can move it. Yeah, I'm helping hand. Sorry about that. Oh. Here's your other side. You got your main power switch for both the power supplies. <clears throat> you got um, the secondary switch that turns on the uh, the uh, little power supply um, circuit board here that uh, powers the oscillator, the 555. Uh, your two pots. I forget which one's which. I think this one is the frequency, and this one's the timing. Still got to label this. Uh, and paint it. Uh, it's later though. Uh, let's see if I can zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Uh, so you have your four indicator lights here. Um, that one is the main power for this guy. The second, the second LED, the green one there, is for the um, the other power supply. The red one's connected up to the flyback to let me know it's working, it's oscillating, all that good stuff. And then right down here you have a neon bulb, and that's there to um, help uh, protect the MOSFET from the uh, any um, back spikes. And also, when you're starting to change the frequency, if you're going too low, this will light up and let you know, hey, you got to turn your pot back. Um, otherwise, you might risk damaging something, or even your flyback. Uh, so, go ahead and open this up. A lot, of, a lot of work to be done still, but it's functional. Zoom back out. It's a really nice camera. I like this camera. So, uh, here's pretty much all the guts here. Transformer. You get your uh, bridge rectifier here. Smoothing caps. This is close to 10,000 uh, nanoferrets. Unfortunately, my little strip board just uh, ran out of space, so I couldn't put any more on there. I like to put more. Uh, I might eventually put more on there. Um, I do hear a, just a, a little bit of, of um, <clears throat> the hertz still coming in, so I want to smooth it out some more. Uh, you got all your all your wiring and stuff like that. Uh, I got to glue in some of the LEDs. The the top LED isn't working 100%. Uh, that's because I'm I'm still using a really shitty soldering iron the fucking it just destroys tips so yeah <clears throat> i'm hoping to get a uh, a better uh, soldering station for christmas <laughs> i hope um there's your circuit board down there you got your uh your jack if you want to play it as a plasma speaker that'll get changed i'm gonna actually change out that whole board it's really shitty i have a spacer underneath there that was actually an old board, and uh, I just got it working. Uh, I had the jack and the, the connector here. Uh, MOSFET, obviously. Get your little fan on the back. This actually runs, uh, it's uh, just a 12 volt, 12, uh, yeah, 12 volt uh, input power. And uh, as long as you leave the pots alone and whatnot, and just have a nice steady arc, it'll run probably forever. I'm going to assume. I didn't, you don't necessarily even need the fan on here. Um, it only gets a tad bit warm, maybe a few few degrees Celsius over room temperature. Not bad. Uh, the only problem I'm really having currently is the flyback it could be too small. I think maybe 12 volts might be too too big an in, uh, input because if I break the arc, it'll it'll the corona will start to build up here. Uh, the transformer will oversaturate basically, and then this thing right here, uh, your resonant capacitor. This does get warm after a while, so what I might do is um, 
<clears throat> rummage around and get uh, two or three in parallel so they can uh, take the heat a bit better. Uh, yeah, I got the wires all tied up there so they look, they look a lot nicer. And then uh, I think Steve was mentioning something about a cross or a cross conduction or something like that. I'm not 100% 100 sure what that means. Um, after this video, I'm going to go upstairs and study for a little bit. And then um, look up some stuff. Um, yeah. So, I want to just learn a little bit about that too. Because learning is good. Yeah. It's all there. You know, nothing fancy, just triple five. I'm actually walk. I got to turn my uh, damn computer back on. I'm watching a. Sparky's videos right now, keep keeping me company. Uh, I would I would get on a chat, but you know, like I said, I'm gonna go upstairs. I didn't really spend a whole lot of time down here. Uh, there is rubber feet on the bottom of this too. I would lift it up and show you, but you know, it's just rubber feet, not a big deal. They're just hot glued in there. My hot glue gun actually died, <clears throat> so I cut the stick out and just heated it up and uh, glued them on there. But I think I might just put some epoxy on there, just to, you know, just to make sure they stay there. Uh, it's a you know, they're at a perfect elevation to cut them down a little bit. But yeah. I'm not quite sure. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this guy died. Lasted a year, though. So, you know. Got a good use out of it. Cheapy. I'll take it apart, see what blew up in there. Some up some up here on the, on the top. Blew out, but uh, I could probably, you know, take it apart. Use some of the parts. I like to use the pistol and just clean it up a little bit for something. I always <clears throat> try to hold on to everything I can you know, that I think would uh, have some kind of use. You know, like this part's been just a bunch of plastic and cardboard and bits and pieces and stuff like that. It's always nice to have extra parts lying around so you don't have to go out and go buy something. You can just uh, be creative and build something like me. I'm pretty creative, as you can probably tell already. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I'll probably make another video um, playing the plasma speaker, Steve Lane um, wants me to uh, play a song for him. Uh, what is it? A, a syllophone or something like that? I forget what it's called. It's on the. I got it on a program here. He uh, hooked me up with this an, an older program to run, you know, audio files and stuff like that. It's really kick-ass. I remember having something like that a long time ago on my Acer computer, uh, computer tower. It's fucking awesome. Ah, I miss that computer. So, um, let's see, I'm a lot, I hate that. I'm going to set you guys here. Put my lid back on. Actually, no, I'm not. <clears throat> this wire is going to get changed out too, and I'm actually going to solder on some wire and, you know, have it coming out. Uh, this is just temporary. I'm going to probably take this, uh, the jack off and all that stuff and use that on another one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build probably two, two or three more of these triple five circuits, um, Sparky. Uh, showed me a, a pretty uh, easy uh, pre-amplifier <clears throat> for pin 5. And I'll have to check that out. And, uh, yeah, I'll, like I said, I'll make a whole new board and stick it in there probably with a preamp. it would be pretty sweet. A couple other uh, protection diodes and another diode that goes across the uh, MOSFET there. Anyway, enough chitty chat. I'm going to plug this damn thing in. Sorry, guys, I wasn't prepared. I apologize. It's pretty good. It's it's pretty loud. Pretty good. Not the not the best. I've I've built better plasma speakers. Get everything set up here. Back this up just a little bit. Might do another side shot. And like like I said, next time when I play that uh song for for my buddy Steve Lane there, you guys can check out the. The lights <clears throat> and whatnot—it's pretty cool. I like it. I might even put an inside light too, just to light the, you know, the light up the inside. Because I need to put some holes here for ventilation. So, like that. There we go. And then uh, these electrodes I'm using—they were um, uh, screws, and I just cut off the screw parts because they're pretty, pretty handy to have. And I believe these are brass, so they can take the heat pretty good. So, go ahead and uh, get a song going here. Oh, is everything floating on? Shit, man. 
Oh, I'm just so unprepared today. Sorry, guys. Bear with me here. Uh, don't need this plug right now, so I'm gonna plug this. So power's on. There we go. I'm gonna even turn that light off. I can see a little bit. Oh, there you go. So no, not ox, you son of a bitch. Play. Playing some electronic music here. Sounds pretty good on here. Plays it pretty well. At least until I make another mix CD. I gotta make sure I can pick songs that uh. I apologize if the video is a bit long, guys. You can always fast forward it or whatnot. Or if you just wanted to see the power supply shit. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I just like making videos. It's also good to uh, close the electrodes in a little bit more. That way, the uh, the plasma arc uh, doesn't jump as much, and it's a little bit more stable. I have it out a little bit longer, um, moving it out a bit longer, and increasing the voltage um, input does make the sound a lot louder because of the current. I love plasma speakers, they're fucking awesome. There you go, you get your LEDs. Let me give you a quick demo here. I'm going to show you when that neon bulb comes on. There you go. And I let you know. Turn it back down. Still have to play with a, a little bit with it. And as you can see, some of the some of the current had came out a bit. Oh yeah. Hope you guys like that. It's a little work in progress. It's fucking cool though. Finally got a power supply or a high voltage power supply in the box. Good old Tupperware. Not bad to use, it's all plastic. Well, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. <clears throat> it's enough. 15 minutes is long enough. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Play safe. Cheers!